Greetings, ladies and gentlemen players. It's another wonderful Friday this August of 2021, making it a wonderful day for basics. And today, we're going to 3-3. Reason's pretty simple. I've got myself a recently released 3-3 lecture. The intent was to help people who are getting 3-3 and to help those who are 3 3 Thinking about things, pa, common pitfalls to avoid all that sort of goodness. And I don't have much on my channel that actually helps the people who do, in fact, want to 3-3. So, played myself a nice little game here. Uh, coming up, as you'll see, I was white, I 3 3 and I kind of played the game a little bit quickly. I, I admit, a little bit faster than I play a lot of, a lot of uh, basic games, but it does have a nice in-depth review for the, time, for the things that I do miss over the course of the game. So make sure to check out both the game and especially the review. Those of you who are looking to get uh, tips on your 3-3. Three -three. There's probably a few things in there for those of you who are responding to the 3-3 three -three as well. So it should be good for everybody. And speaking of 3, did you know there's three things you can do over at Badook.club, your one-stop shop for in-person Go? You can find where to play Go in Switzerland. A couple of places, actually. That's pretty cool. You can hit up their store and find some go equipment that might be uh right up your alley and you can get tools for organizing your go events we're seeing a lot of the three three lately and there are three things you can do at baduk.club is that a coincidence or are they single-handedly behind all of the three three endeavors in the go community you can go to the website and you be the judge Thank you, as always, to them for in part sponsoring these videos. Start to play. All right, got a game. I'm white. <clears throat> I'm gonna open up with double four four points because there's nothing wrong with them. And then uh, after I respond to this, we're gonna go ahead and three three our opponent, as you would expect. Now here, it's just a question of, are we getting Sente or are we not getting Sente? Okay, he's blocking this way. Which way is he going to do? Is he going to go and Hane? Uh, okay, he's going to Hane. He's not going to just play for Sente, so we'll just go ahead and play this one. We'll push three times, then take Sente. Now, I could go ahead and block the extension from the enclosure. Gives him a enclosure here, which I don't really want to give him. So rather than do that, we're going to approach his corner. Admittedly, I would rather have approached uh, two space away. I wasn't actually thinking. I was thinking uh, what AI prefers. Uh, I don't actually prefer playing the Kobayashi uh, close like this, but that's okay. We can go ahead and just kind of wing it. I'll attach here, and then I'll just jump out. I'll probably just go and give him this, and then do something as simple as cap them here. Oh, or that. Okay, I'll go into your corner then. I mean, I'm all about that. Um, Not quite done here yet, eh? Do a little bit of a push. Don't want to be surrounded. Essentially is the uh, thought process here. I can Hane because if I drop down, he's dead. I can double Hane for a very similar reason. <clears throat> He has to Atari here and Atari here. If he can't Atari down and then connect here, then, you know, this is uh, dead. I didn't really have to read that out. Is there something that you... Wait, he could have played... Wait, could he have played here instead? Oh, I'm actually wrong. Never mind. Sorry, he can do this. Okay, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and Atari this once. Yeah, because we play here, he just plays there. Herp, derp, derp, derp. Not a problem, though. Let's go ahead and play here. And then uh, get a uh, thing on the outside. This was a little bit of a mistake. Oh, please don't do anything silly. You're fine. You're perfectly fine here, I think. You are, right? Yeah, bop, 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 bop. Uh, I think you are? Now he has me doubting myself. <laughs> Ain't that weird. I don't even care. I'm over it. I, maybe something works here. I don't think it does, but if it, I'm not over it. I, I, I mean, I am over it. Sorry. 
Now we're getting shape here, like so. Uh, you hit me, so I'll respond that once. I will Hane here. And then I'm going to take the enclosure away from our opponent, because we've settled here. We've got the corner. Um, does the AI like dropping down here? I actually never uh, queried this position. I'm not sure. I want to say it. I feel like no. I feel like no. So I'm going to go and extend. You feel like that's fine? This way you can't extend from here, ever. Uh, he is going ahead and trying to pincer me, so how do we handle this? We have a couple of ways we can handle it. I could go and play here. Also, my volume seems low. Does my volume seem low to you? Volume seems kind of low to me. Let's go ahead and raise that volume up a little bit. There we go. Uh, so I could play here, but I don't think this is the natural move. So what do I do? I don't want to just jump away. Jump away is kind of not so good. I could just play here, but again, it's undercut. It's kind of bad. This is the only move that I know. This is the only move that I'm actually aware of. I don't know what else to play here. Um, you'll note I'm not probing the cutting point because I don't really have any desire to cut him. I mean, this is completely fine. I know he can drop down and go this way, and this is completely fine too. So I, I don't want it, therefore I'm not playing it. Um... I mean, I don't know. Leaning on this stone to make sure that this is fine from the greater threat of the wall is the only thing that makes sense in my head. I don't know what else to play. It's either that or the one point jump. I'm not playing this one because he can go here and then try to do something uh, weird and complicated. Instead, we're just going to play here because we're just getting shape. That's all we're doing here. Literally, that, that's the whole point of this. It's like, I'm making shape, he's got, uh, he's got problems, and I'm fine. The Atari here is still pretty good. I can connect underneath if I want to, but I don't have to, which is really, really important. I had two and three stones is basic. Yeah, a nice, huge corner here. We're strong in the area, so I'm not even going to read out the cutting point. We're just going to take it, because our corner is alive. It's immortal. Therefore, it is amazing. So yeah, that cutting point was an overplay for him. I extend. He's giving us left-hand side. Again, it's fantastic. Now, you'll note that this zone wants to connect back to here. I don't want to just be... The uh, thing is, I don't think I should care. This is where... Like, what I think the AI wants and what I, I would traditionally play are uh, a little bit at odds. I would play here, but I think the AI would say, no, defend the corner because the corner is the most amazing thing since sliced bread. I'm going to still do the divide and conquer thing that we always teach. Not really trying to kill this. I'm just making sure that it's not um, being too easy for uh, that for that stone. Turning, I suppose taking is also probably uh, pretty pretty good here. In closing, right now would be a kill potentially on uh, this group. I don't really want to kill it though. Hmm. He can't save this, by the way, that's why I'm not thinking about it. I mean, I guess there's a little bit of a read there, right? He saves, I Atari, he connects, I cut, he Atari's down, he's dead, he Atari's over, and he's also subsequently Yo -yo dead. Now starts. Um, I'll just go and take. Underneath. 
easiest uh, variation possible. He can't do anything here because of the Atari into a shortage of liberties. The idea here is that it's simple. Control the middle. I'm still alive. He can't disconnect me. He cuts I Atari, so it's not that's not relevant. I'm gonna go ahead and play here. Normally, I in a, uh, in a game at my level, I would be going after one of these two groups because this group doesn't have eyes, or oh, it's got one eye, but it's not quite full at the second eye, and this one really doesn't have an eye yet. So I'll tell you what, I will surround it just to make it live locally. I'll allow it to live here without any kind of weird throw-ins and stuff. Like right now, that's not Sente, and if you can recognize that, you're going to play here, and then he's going to die. Simple as that. For now, I will, I will just go ahead and answer it. He can't cut out through here. It's not possible. He might be just trying to get an extra eye shape here. Yeah, looks like that's what he's trying to do. We're not trying to kill, so we're not going to be pushing or doing anything weird there. Nothing cray cray. He's alive, perfectly right. So I can do something like this one now. I'm only poking just to keep him from getting like an extra three, four points there. It's really important that you're. I'm going to have him for permanently form that eye. Thank you. It's really important that you pay attention to those kind of things because in a game like this, where you've taken their corner, you're entering into a low territorial count game. So those uh, uh, sort of little points uh, that they can pick up over here can make all the difference in the world, uh, weirdly enough. Nine. I'm going to go Eight. ahead and defend here because we have the corner here nicely, the corner here nicely, the corner here nicely. Um... At one down level, I'm tempted to. This reverse is Sentai. I play here, here, here. He Ataris, I Atari back, and then Nine. that's that. If I play Eight. away a right, Seven. if I just play here, Six. he can play this Five. one. I have to play here. Four. Three. Two. Yeah, that's fine. One. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play here, that way, favorite because this one, we've got a nice little net on him, so we're thinking about our shape. His territory right now is this bottom area, and this. A little bit over here, I'm going to want to push here uh, fairly shortly after I see how much in the middle I can get. This area is open on the bottom side, so we're looking at this for forcing moves. I can either invade it, which I think the AI would like, but I can also develop it uh, for inflow what? Um... Not time Suji. He's not in Biomi yet. Not sure what that was for. Wait, was he in Biomi? He is in Biomi. I can't tell. It's 30 seconds. He might be in Biomi. Alright, he's reducing this. That's drastically uh, hindering my ability to get... Nope, he's not in Biomi. That's drastically uh, hindering my ability to develop center. Which means I probably don't want to try. I should be more inclined towards reduction than uh, the building. So we're going to go ahead and do the invasion. Since he's already out in the middle. If he wasn't already out in the middle, I'd probably poke up from here and then play the move that he actually just played. Maybe play this one first because the Hane here into this one is a uh, kill on his guru. So this actually isn't... Uh, actually, he's dead. Yeah, if I play here, he's dead. He has to run away. Because here, here, into here is death. Hmm. Fascinating. So here, we're going to force feed him this one stone. Just uh, like so. Might want to play this one instead. Nah, let's play here. If he plays here, that's uh, Your insane. Now starts. He's not, okay. <clears throat> Still going to force feed him the stone. It has Aji. 
that odds can be beneficial to me. And then we're going to just uh, do a little surround you doodad over here, I think. Oh, I'm tempted to. Oh, I want to play. Uh, no. Surrounding, surrounding, surrounding. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Because, yeah, if I play here and he plays here and I play here, even if he takes, I can falsify. So. Which is what I should have actually done rather than play uh, this, but it's fine. <clears throat> I can play here into here for a couple of points along this little line here, which is what I'm going to do, I think. He'll probably play up in here, it's fine. This is only 2, 4, 5, we're getting 2, 4, whatever in here, so we're... We should be pretty okay on that front. But yeah, at this point, we should be nicely ahead. Coming on in to make sure this area doesn't grow, which is what he should have been doing here. He should have been doing here. He should be making uh he should be making his territory. But he's not. Kinda kinda strange. Kinda strange. I'm gonna drop down and get in the uh, big end game here, since we are definitely an end game now. So this gives me nice biggie points. <clears throat> Send text, I will cut here. Mm -hmm. Now I can push. I know this doesn't work anywhere for him. Now it's just nicely defended. He noticed the cutting point, nice. Um, he needs to be very, very careful. If he's not careful, he might bring in this Hane back into play. Okay. Okay. Make sure he's nice and alive. Make sure I'm nice and alive. Everybody's nice and alive. Start to save my stone. Maybe I can save him. Maybe I didn't have to give him up. I don't really care. All right, now I can go ahead. I play here, he plays here. I can play here first for capture on these. So that's big end game. But yeah, the strategy is pretty simple. All we wanted to do is uh, we took some corners for ourselves, which was pretty good. And we're in the middle, so we win. Was a little was a lot less uh a lot less work than our traditional games, that's for sure. Because right now we are ahead by a good thirty points, and the middle's not worth thirty points. The middle's worth two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Right? So we were ahead because of this, the upper right. The upper left and the lower left. He didn't make enough uh, anywhere else for that to be a problem, our territory. He created two weak groups here. We surrounded them like we do in any basics game. Very, very big, very, very big. We didn't commit to saving stones that looked like they were. Tough to save. Like, could I save these? Yeah, maybe. Did we need to? No, not so much. Don't see a reason. Now he's poking at me a little bit, which is fine. I poked at him a little bit. He can poke at me a little bit. It's all good. It's all good. Not a problem. Go ahead and respond. Nice and easy. Now, this game went by pretty quickly. It shows that I've only been, uh... 
since I've been live, for, I've been recording for 19 minutes, and um, of those 19 minutes, I'm pretty sure some of those were looking for a game. So very fast game. I'll go back and break down exactly how this happened, uh, step by step in the review. <clears throat> Excuse me. No reason to Atari when I can't hold the stone because I have cutting points on the other side. So it just didn't make any sense to even try and do it. We'll go ahead and do a little push. The throw in here doesn't matter because his cutting point's never live. So I can Hane here. He could, yep, okay. Um, bup, bup, bup. I can, um, huh. This extent, this push here is not really Sentai. Because then if I cut, he extends and extends and extends. But the minute I play here, it's self Atari. So not going to do that. Nine. I eight. can do this one though. I'm gonna go ahead and play here anyway. There we go. I should, this move is actually worth more. Careful. He can push. He can push. Now defend. Um, so, Atari, Atari into Atari, he's dead. But never mind that. Now, if I play here, he needs to play... He could play this one. Now this one. Nice. Nicely done, nicely done. Those are the things I can turn, take, turn, do all those cool little things. But yeah, Atari, Atari into Atari is uh, definitely death there. Didn't really have to get into any real life and death, though, this game, though, did I? It was a very simple, well, I've got the corners. You're not making enough points anywhere else, so I win. This is kind of the allure of uh, the 3-3. Uh, it does make for... It has a potential to make it a lot easier in some respects. Especially those who can't really use influence. Like this guy who tried to use influence by pincering the extension that I had already played. Despite the fact that he should have had Sente to extend from that wall. Like We'll, we'll talk about more about this in, in review. There's like a lot to unpack during the review. Like so many ways that he could have put a lot more pressure on me to not have like a game where I'm up by 30 points. Um, I don't really want him to, like, get this one in ever, so... You can cut here, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. I don't mind. Let's go ahead and play here. Play here. I also can't read today, apparently. No, I can. You're an idiot. You can't play that still. Don't defend that. It's fine. There, 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 there. If I... Yeah, he knows. Good. Atari? Push first, maybe, then Atari? That's weird. That's just strange. Yeah, I don't know. One last one's in the game. Unless he sees this, then he might defend it. Now he plays here anyway. You should play here first, actually. Um, I don't know, I'll play here, I guess. Oh, that's right, there's a hunt. Mm, forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do this one. Then I have to connect here. Right, 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 right. I forgot. Why does that matter? Hello? I take... He Ataris. He Ataris. He cuts. Doesn't do anything. Uh-huh. Righto. Yippers. 
I am with ya. But that's as far as it goes. I already have a knight here. Even if I didn't, I think we'd be fine. Uh, go ahead and make the eye here, I guess. Why not? They can go here and here to get me to fill, but I got the two eyes, so here, we're fine. Then I established this uh, other group that he's cutting off had uh, two eyes. I just stopped reading. No reason to go beyond that. Like, if you have two eyes, then you're, you're alive. I mean, that's the definition of a living group. The ability to make Nine, eight, more than one eye. Seven, that's more six, than one eye? Five, All right, you're done reading, then. Four, three, <clears throat> two, <clears throat> One. Here, here, here. Two Tari. Left. Um, nothing is alive here. I probably could have actually ignored this stone as well. Because when you've got connections, then he can't kill you. Um, so we're done with that. We're going to go ahead and connect. He can get one eye in here, but he can't get two, so it's irrelevant. Again, this is all nicely connected up. So, I don't have to read anymore. I know that he can't make two eyes in this location without reading it, and I know that he can't disconnect me to get like a Seki or whatever because we're all connected to everything. And uh, yeah, we're all good. Easy throw in is easy. He noticed. Okay, way to go. Uh, Tari. <clears throat> and counting. All right, we won by 32 points or something. Uh, 32 and a half, I think, which is at 16 and three fourths because of uh, Chinese counting. So, here we go. Once again, in slow motion, he approached me. I know I could ignore him, and I think the AI's first suggestion right now is to play this, but I'm trying to do this in a simple manner. Like, the AI, like the, the 43 in a simple game, you know? So he approached me, I, I, fine, I backed off, that's nice and easy. I went ahead and I 3 3 him. I wouldn't block this way personally. I would uh, probably, if this was me, I would probably play this variation against a 3-3-er. Against a three -three -er. I'd get the wall, go into a Chinese, because I've already extended from it. It's pretty good, I like it. This is probably playable too. Now, here's the thing. There are two important spots that my lovely opponent wants to get in. He wants to stall while my pen is opening. There we go. So he wants to enclose and he wants to extend. Right? It's always important to have that me eye in mind. Now, I decided rather than take this and give him this branch, or more likely this branch, and then like have to reduce this, which is completely fine still. This is completely okay still. I decided to get rid of the enclosure, so he needs to be thinking, okay, then I want to prioritize Sente, right, to maybe get to extend or something, or pick a pincer Jiseki that gets the Sente to go ahead and grab the other point. That should be like the priority of him. Like those are the two biggest points in or or three three man return. Uh, those are the biggest things for Black to keep in mind. So he played here, which isn't terrible. I would expect this variation now. I was still gonna go ahead and do this. It's not ideal but it gives me the ability to just settle locally. It gets me in the middle and I can take away the extension off of his uh, off of his wall. So the thing that he didn't want to have happen happens. I got to approach and took a big point away. Then I got Sente off of that. Actually, no, I got Sente first from the bottom left. 
to take away a big thing out of his corner, and then I got sent out of that to approach his lower right corner, and then I got sent out of that to block the wall. So sente, sente, sente. At some point, especially in the opening, uh, being in the game, Black should have been like, you know what, it's really, really important for me to have sente here. That way my opponent can't go around and take all the big points. It's really, really important, uh, especially if you're being 3-3 and you know your corner's being devoured, that you do not lose sight of where those big points are and your sente to you know go and get those things. I hope this all makes sense. If it doesn't, or if I'm like not uh, explaining things in a way that's you know uh, answering your questions, do feel free to always leave me comments down below because I do look at those. Um, so yeah, we played here. I'm just trying to settle. This is not really a threat because we got to play here. Now, I for some reason I thought he was going to play here. I think that's what my my thought was. Like if he plays here, sure. I didn't consider that he would just drop down. And to be fair, he should have played this one instead. Because here into here, and this is completely fine. Can't do anything here. Unforged. Very unforged. Um, but it's still actually not that bad. It's still not that bad. Because what I would play is the same thing that I, I, I played uh, in this game. I'd probably play here, here. Into here, here. Into here, here, here. So it's predominantly the same thing. Uh, ideally, I probably ought to continue this. Estimator says, like, we're up by, like, 15 points right now. Because the bottom isn't very large. And now that we're over top of this wall, he can't grow there ever again. So, that's the allure of the 3-3. Like, right now, how many... We're in, like, what... Hello? What is this? I have no idea what move this is. This is 10 in the variation, right? Okay, so go back to the initial... So this is, yeah, in 40 moves, we win the game. You know? We played here, here, we got Suntang. Took his big point away. He needs a counter. He needs to develop. Because remember, he's, he has a 15-point deficit right now. Which has just expanded to about 18. So he needs to use something here. And I think it's a little bit too slow to do this one now. I mean, you're just giving me Sente again. Like, how are you going to respond to that one too? Like, you can't play this way, right? Like, that's just not going to be worthwhile. Your your lead is decreasing. Or, sorry, my lead is increasing. One of those words, anyway. So I took this away. Really huge swing because I took that. Now we're at a 30 point. And I kept him 30 points for the rest of the game. That's just what happened. I, I got too many of the big points in. That that's that sums it up. If you're being 3 3 now more than ever, you need solid foundation of basics. You cannot take your eye off where the next large point of the game is because you just took a hit territorially uh, to give you a, a point deficit, usually, even if it's only by a couple of points. Then you follow that up with not seeing the next large point in the game so now we've lost points, and then we're losing more points, and it's just, uh, it, it, it's, it's just, it's just bad. Yeah, I don't know what to play here instead. I on I'm sorry, I honestly don't. I have no clue. Like this is kind of okay-ish. He could go ahead and attack me though, and it just feels like we're not doing anything. Like this is the only move that I know how to play here. Like there's this one, but not really. It's kind of it's kind of sketch. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. Let me know down below what what you would play here, because I don't know what else um, like Q and other Don players would would consider playing here, because nothing else actually strikes me right now. Like maybe not that, maybe the diagonal. I don't know. That's that's pretty weak too, eh? I mean, maybe I can play something like this because I got the ladder. Anyway. So yeah, here we just make shape, nice and easy. My opponent's shape isn't doing so hot. And once again, we're still picking up uh, leads because this corner and this corner, much larger than uh, his bottom area. If we had played something like here, maybe, he could get something done. Right? If we just let him grow and we never counterattack, 
maybe something there can happen, but even now we're 20 points up. So I just don't see a way for him to come back into this game. Long story short, I just really don't see it. Oh, and then here was potential uh, kill-tastic move. Um, like, I could do something like this, theoretically. Because if he plays here, we get to connect there. This isn't 100% completely alive yet, but I didn't really want to go out of my way to try to kill anything. As per basics. And then there was one other thing here wasn't there. Yeah, the, um... This, I've mentioned this repeatedly. Right? The fact that I can actively be like, hey, you. I don't think you have uh, your eyes here yet. And yeah, I think that's about the end of the game. Pretty straightforward and simple though, wasn't it? I think it really highlights what I was looking for. The danger of not being able to find next large play in the game. If you've also been 3-3'd. And the allure of, you know, playing this way. Because since we got in, like, that last large point, he was just behind and he stayed behind for the rest of the game. It was just smooth sailing from there. So yeah, if you're a 3 3 -er, I hope this is something along the lines of uh, what you'd be interested in learning about your games. And how to, uh, you know, play that kind of thing. What to look out for. Think about all that good stuff. And uh, yeah. Till next time. Hope this was helpful.